All right, yeah, you guys could probably guess what I'm doing today. So, uh, I've actually chose a pretty bad time for me to try to be fixing this issue right now because I have to go to work in like a half an hour. So, <laughs> I mean, this shouldn't really take too long. So, but um, I've been meaning to do this for a while now. It's just like the timing never really lined up. And I've honestly been pretty lazy. Like I don't want to work in my car, work on the car in the cold since I don't have like a garage or driveway. So I'm like just in the middle of the street here, you know, street park. So I, I really don't like working on my car like this, but it is what it is. But yeah, so um, I've been dealing with condensation on my taillights for a while now, pretty much ever since I got the car. And my car is a 2004, so I, I feel like I need to have a little better background information before I get into this. So there's two generations of RX-8, Series 1 cars, which is 2005, I mean 2004 to 2008, and then Series 2 cars, which is 2009 to 2011. So these are not stock 2000, I mean, these are not stock Series 1 taillights, so as I'm implying that I've already changed out the taillights. So these are not OEM taillights. It's because the OEM ones I had also had the same issue with condensation. So rather than just changing the gasket, I decided to just change out the entire assembly. I didn't really like how the Series 1 taillight looked anyway. So, I mean, I, it was fine, but I preferred the Series 2 taillights more. And that's why I bought it online and I decided to put it on this car. Those came with new gaskets and I've already installed it, um, but clearly I didn't do a really good job since there's still water in here, but the other side is completely fine. So there's really two things that could be wrong with the, um, wrong with it essentially. So it's neither one, I installed it improperly because look, if you guys look here, there I do have like a little gap here, like a little bit more of a gap here than I do on this side, which is a little bit more flush. I mean, there's still a gap, but it's more flush than on the driver's side so what i'm really hoping for is just that it's not aligned properly and i could like literally take it out align it and have the issue be fixed but or i could take it out and i could see that the gasket is just you know not good and that would mean i need to replace the gaskets but i mean both options are really relatively cheap one is free and the other one's like what 40 dollars so it shouldn't be too bad. It, it's not really hard taking out the assembly for the trunk as well, just so I could take out the taillights. The only thing is why this is pretty bad timing for me to decide now to do it is essentially if I don't do it today, right? I have to do, do it on Sunday or Monday, but those are gonna be really gloomy days and then Tuesday is raining. So I really want to, uh, want time, like a, at least sunny weather like this for like this to pretty much empty it out and have time for it to sit in the sun a little bit so it dries up. So ideally it would be for me to do it today, but I woke up a bit late. I've been waking up at like 11 something and 12. So, I mean, that's on me. So anyways, I gotta open up the trunk and I'm gonna pop open the trunk to take out the assembly, you know, take out the carpeting and stuff, right? It's pretty easy. Let me show you, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. I don't know if the lighting will permit me for it, but there's like essentially these little tabs right here that you gotta pry out with a flathead and take this out. There's another one on the bottom right here. You're gonna have to do the same thing for this side, which is right here, and another one right here, and this essentially just comes straight out. And then you got two more little tabs right here, and where's the other one? There's one, there should be one more, I think. Well, these three, I mean these four, and then this one right here, and essentially you could lift back the carpet and it'll expose you to the taillights, which then you could use a 10 mil to unscrew it and take it out. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that real quick and you guys could watch me do it in the background. Once you get those these bolts out, you can just pretty much lift this back. So I'm just gonna, oh shit. Yeah, my trunk is a bit messy from, you know, the other driving and stuff. But anyways, let me just, hopefully I don't lose any of those, but I should replace them anyways. But once I get this out, it's just really the 10 mil right here and 10 mil right there. And then you, where's the hook? There's a little hook right here. If I don't know if you guys can see it, but you push that up and the entire tail light comes out and then we'll try to drain the water out.
got the bolts out so now you just need to unplug these pins right here which is pretty easy it's really just this one right here you pinch it in oh, you don't want to unscrew the bolts by accident it's hard to do this one hand so i'll probably stop filming it but you pinch in and you essentially wiggle it out you just want to be gentle with it yep and then you do the same thing for this is it this white one right here Okay, so I just got the assembly out and I don't know why this just doesn't look right. It feel, it looks cracked if you guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, that could be a contribution to the thing, but I got the tail lights out and it's just filled with water. So I'm just going to literally tilt it over, get all that water out. But yeah, that, that concerns me a little bit because I don't remember this side looking like that. Um, I'm going to have to check when I have more time, but we just get the water out. And then I'm going to have to dry this up with some paper towels or something. But the gasket itself looks fine. So I don't think it was the gasket issue. So it's most likely a fitment issue or whatever this thing is. Because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be cracked like that. So I don't know. I don't remember what it looked like before. But yeah, I'm just holding it with one hand right now. So it's annoying. But this looks, this is definitely cracked. And I'm hoping, hopefully that's not rust bubbling up doesn't look like it but yeah this is a, a, a little bit more than what I was hoping to see today so anyways I'm gonna try to drain the tail lights a little bit more clean it up a little bit and then put it back and hopefully it just doesn't happen again but I don't know I feel like I'm gonna end up having if this is an actual issue um, I'm gonna have to find another day when is when I'm not working to take the other side apart as well take the other side apart and compare the two sides because I'm pretty sure this wasn't here when I got it so I don't know what issue that might be in but anyways let's get this done put it back on and then I'm gonna have to head to work so yeah let's get that done real quick all right got the water out um it's not perfect but I do plan on taking it apart another day and just letting it sit in the sun but today it's literally gonna be the only sunny day so yeah i can't really do much i would do it tomorrow and leave it out in the sun but if i do it tomorrow it's, there's no sun tomorrow literally i can show you guys the weather app there's no sun tomorrow or the day after and then right after that it's going back to like another four days of rain so today was like my best bet of doing it today and just letting it air dry on its own over the next two days but um i think i did get the little fitment gap here a little bit better so hopefully it doesn't leak in anymore as long as it doesn't take in any more water it should be fine but um, there's only one, one real way to test this without it raining is to take it to a car wash So I'm gonna have to work now finish my shift and when I get out I'll probably take it to a car wash and see If it's uh, taking if it's like leaking water in or not still so we'll f Wait till then to find out. But anyways, what time is it now? But it is currently 309 so I'm not late yet so I could just um, go to work find parking and stuff like that but yeah i'll see you guys i'll catch up with you guys after work um and we'll take it to a car wash and we'll see what happened then but hopefully that did fix the issue the only thing that does concern me though is that that thing that looked like a crack on the, um, the rear end i mean i've never been rear-ended so it does it does concern me a little bit because the car's never been rear-ended before so I, that's something i'm gonna have to look into a little bit later in the future not now because i am a little bit pressed for time but you can see this is literally all the water that came out of that tail light so anyways yeah hopefully that fixes it but we'll see later but yeah i gotta get to work right now Did a little cold start for you guys, but I also had to check, record it, make sure all my reverse lights and st stuff like that was working, make sure I plugged everything in correctly, and it was plugged in correctly because everything works. So I'm gonna be heading to work right now and catch you guys after work when I take it to a car wash. There's also a car meet happening tonight, but it's ha like it's gonna start while I'm still in work. Like I get off pretty late, it starts at 8:30, and I get off work at like 10. So. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that, but I'll try. If I could do a car wash and go to the car meet tonight, that would be cool. I get to bring you guys along. But if not, you know, I'm sorry. Just a car wash today and fixing my taillights. But we'll see. But I'll see you guys when I'm at work. 
All right, so it's actually another day now, <laughs> new outfit and everything. But essentially, after I got off work yesterday, it was pretty late already, so I, there was no way I was gonna make that car meet. And when I came to the same actually car wash, it was closed, it was out of service. So wasn't able to do it yesterday, but it is what it is. But I'm here now, about to wash the car to see if it's gonna soak in any more water. So, I mean, if you guys can see, there's still a little bit of water left in there. I mean, it's enough to the point where, like, is enough water where I think it would just evaporate if I just leave it be over the next few days. Um, there is still a little bit of condensation. You can still, like, it's still bubbling up, but that is just proof that the water is evaporating and it's turning into, you know, the moisture on top. And eventually that would just, you know, fade away if it doesn't, if water doesn't leak in again. But if it does, then this issue is just a recurring thing. So I'm gonna put in the tokens right now, start the car wash, wash the car, and I'm gonna blast water around this area, which is um, before, if I was to wash the car, I have to avoid that area, because if I wash that area, or if I like, put pressure on water on this area, water would get in. So that's what may led me to think maybe perhaps it was just the positioning of the taillights itself that made, made it leak, essentially. So I'm gonna start the car wash right now and, you know, hope for the best pretty much. Alright, so I just covered the car in soap right here, right? And I'm gonna rinse it off. So normally, if I was to wash this area of the car, I would just like, you know, kind of go over it, like, you know, rinse around it and everything. But if the situation is indeed fixed, I should be able to just... I feel it's wrong to do. I'm not sure if that's, you know, I don't know if you guys can see on the corner there. I'm not sure if those, that's like little bubbles of water coming in, but we'll see when I get the car dry, but I don't know. Hopefully that's the situation is fixed, but we will tell pretty much after the wash. If there's no more water than I started with, then I can consider the situation fixed, but if not, then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to figure something out, but we'll see. But I'm gonna finish washing the car and, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I just finished washing the car, but me being the dummy that I am, I didn't bring a microfiber tower to cut, um, to dry off the car with. So, I mean, thankfully I don't live that far from here, so I could just drive like, it's like a three minute drive home, and then I would just grab a microfiber towel and dry it off, and we'll see how things look. But yeah, uh, I'm fingers crossed that it, um, you know, no more water went in, but if it did, I'll probably just end up replacing the assembly. And I still have my stock one, honestly, so I could just go back to that, but then I'll need to buy new gaskets. But then at that point, I might as well just like, you know, get like a whole new system and have like a little upgrade but i don't know haven't decided what i'm gonna do yet but hopefully you know the the issue is fixed but i still gotta dry off the car first so i don't really know until i get home but so yeah you know it is what it is let's get home and dry off the car all right guys well i just dried off the car and as you guys can see the water level did go up a little bit so it Unfortunately to say something is probably wrong with the gasket or is that which is most likely that or I still mess up the fitment somehow or that little crack on the bumper or the crack on the bumper is somehow letting allowing water to get in but that's pretty unlikely in my opinion because the crack is on the bottom of the bumper so it wouldn't make much sense how water is getting in through that because I'm, I'm not spraying water directly underneath it so that doesn't make much sense to me so it's probably something of the gasket or the fitment is still wrong but honestly in my opinion it's probably just the gasket because I honestly I got it as close as I can to how the other side is and that side is completely perfect so it's probably something faulty it is what it it is what it is is what you get for buying like parts off ebay or actually amazon i bought these off amazon it is what it is so i'll probably end up replacing these in a very near future with neither another set by like another seller and just do my best and fingers crossed that those are better than these or i could spend a little bit more money and get like a proper upgrade and get like some really nice taillights and put them in the car but i don't want it to look I really don't like those like you know how people have like LED strips wrapped around it and stuff like that I feel like it just looks out of place I still want the car to look like a little a, a bit OEM I really like the design of these so that's I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out but unfortunately you know it wasn't an easy fix but this was never meant to be a tutorial but I can't help but feel like this is a little bit fail of a video because I wasn't able to fix the issue but I will actually leave a link in the description below of like someone who actually made a really good tutorial on how to actually fix it and replace the gasket on the OEM taillights but these are not OEMs actually I might honestly I might even just put in the series my OEM headlights unit I mean taillights back in because I still have that I just gotta put new gaskets on it because those were bad so 
might do that but we'll see in the future but anyways it really just sucks that i mean as you guys can see i'm literally in the middle of the street so even if i wanted to do this properly like you know actually dry it out and let it sit out for a few days I, I don't have a garage to do it i just don't have the space i can't leave my car take this out and just leave the car street parked here and cover this up you know that that i just, just honestly don't trust it um someone literally would be able to stick their hand in and open the trunk so yeah that's not something i want to do so it just kind of sucks i'm sure a lot of you guys could relate if you guys live in the city and you guys don't have like a designated place to actually park your car or any have any place to work on it but just finished trying it at least the car is clean out i guess that's a plus but this is part of the this is honestly why i started this channel i wanted to record everything i do with the car all the fails all the good things and everything like that is my daily driver all the scr scr scratches still really does bother me but unfortunately this was a fix that i wasn't able to do easily so i'll probably just end up replacing the taillights they're not too terribly expensive probably 200 dollars. or if i really wanted to upgrade them probably spend around 500 to a thousand depending on you know what i want to get i know there's like the re amamiya ones which is like a thousand something plus shipping is like 1500 but those are really nice home so i don't know if i feel like splurging probably not though but anyways uh, i rambled on enough and I, hopefully you guys found this informative in some way or not in some way or another but i'm gonna wrap up this video but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one more toge runs to come